Hi, it's Rachel from Team Forget Me Nots. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking or subscribing, or watching another video in the playlist. I'm going to spoil the end of this video by saying this is one of my favourite pieces that I've ever made. Um, so yep, spoilers, it's, uh, it turns out really lovely. I picked up this chest of drawers for £15 from Facebook Marketplace. It was in great condition other than a few stains in one of the drawers, which wasn't a problem, it just meant that I needed to paint them rather than leave them natural. So I filled in the two holes with wood filler before getting started on prepping the rest of the unit. I started by giving the piece full clean with sugar soap, diluted in warm water, and then scuff sanded it with 180 grit sandpaper. It didn't need any more than that because it wasn't particularly shiny and I wasn't trying to get it back to the natural colour of the wood. Because it was a dark wood, there was a good chance that tannins might bleed through later. This means that after I'd painted it, some stains would show up. It's just a natural part of the wood, but it's really important to use a primer so that this doesn't happen. I used Binzinza 123, which is an excellent shellac based primer. It does a great job of protecting the piece from stains showing through, but it is slightly more inconvenient to clean up because you can't clean it with water. I used a brush on the areas with ridges and a roller on the top and the side panels. For the colour of the unit, I chose the Creamy White Raw Silk by Fusion Mineral Paint. While Fusion doesn't require a primer or a sealer, primer was important because of the type of wood I was painting on and I think it's important just to seal anyway, just for that extra security. I wanted to keep the original handles because they were really pretty and there was nothing wrong with them. To make the handles a bit more interesting, I used Rub and Buff in Antique Gold, and by buffing it, it slightly shows the colour underneath as well, and it gave the handles a bit more dimension. Now, before I get into the next bit of the transformation, I just want to acknowledge a slight mistake that you may have noticed that I did here. So I needed to add handles back so I would be able to move the drawers around easily. But as you may have guessed, I added a handle back and had an absent-minded moment and put one in the middle of the drawers. But these drawers had two handles on either end. So not only did I add a handle to the middle, but I then had to take it off and fill it in and paint over my mistake. But lesson learned, I won't be making that one again. So for this chest of drawers, I chose the transfer Peony Fields by Hocus Pocus, which is a really beautiful transfer with pastel coloured flowers and butterflies. The transfer came in three panels, so I applied the middle section first to make sure that it was even on both sides. To apply the transfer, I removed the wax backing paper and then use frog tape to attach it to the chest so it stayed in place while I transferred it. If I wasn't sure if it had attached, I could gently peel it up and if it hadn't fully attached, you could just push it back down again. Because of the slight texture to the chest of drawers, it was more difficult than normal to apply this transfer because I was trying to get into the little divots of the paint. I used the ruler tool to apply pressure to where the transfer was and you could see the colour change slightly as to when it had attached to the chest. So this entire piece took six hours to apply. I do think it was worth it, but I definitely needed to podcast to entertain you during those six hours. I then sealed the entire piece with Fusion's Tough Coat. And here it is in all its floral glory. I'm so happy with how this one turned out. As I said at the start, I think this might be my favourite piece ever. The flowers are just so pretty and the cream colour is just really warm and lovely. And the gold on the handles just gives it that extra something special. Thanks for following along with me for this transformation and even witnessing my mistakes. Thanks for watching.